open. It's a new project. Now before I start creating any model, uh, what I would like to do is I would like to insert a, or I would like to link a CAD file in this project. Now let's see which CAD file I would like to insert a link here. So here in the project folder, if you see, we have a folder called link CAD and import CAD. If I open this, you'll find there is a drawing file which is 01 first floor dot dwg. So it's an AutoCAD drawing. Now what I will do is let's open this drawing first and see it in AutoCAD. So here in AutoCAD, let me go and open a, open this particular file. So 01 first floor, click open. And as you can see, this is the floor plan for the first floor. Now here, what do we have is, okay, let's see what is the unit. So the unit here is, it's in millimeter. And let's see where is the origin located. So currently, if you see, here is our coordinate. So here is the X and here is the Y. So this is, this point is acting as the origin. Okay, once we know this much, let's link this CAD file in Revit. Let me close this once. Let's switch back to Revit. Now, to link this CAD file, let's go to Insert tab. From Link Panel, we go for Link CAD. Click on Link CAD. And then let me go back to the folder. So here we have Link CAD and Import CAD option. Open this and select 01 first floor dot DWG. Now, as you know, we have five positioning options. So we have auto center to center, auto origin to internal origin. Then we have auto by shared coordinates. This shared coordinates is useful if this particular drawing is georeference. In our case, right now, this drawing, drawing is not georeference. Then we have manual origin and then manual center. In my case, I would like to do it right now as auto center to center. So let's select auto center to center. Okay. Now I would like to place it at level number one. If it is a colored drawing, I would like to preserve it or else you can make it black and white. Okay. I would like to import all the layers and import units. Either you can make it auto detect or you can scale it from here. So let me keep it auto detect here. Once done, click open and you can see the center of the drawing will be exactly placed in the center of the Revit project. So that's how you can link a CAD file using auto center to center. Okay, let's go delete it. Let's go to link CAD again. And then let's see one more option. So for example, let's go and see what is uh, manual uh, center. So let's select manual center, click open. And now you can see manually, you can place it anywhere you would like to do. So, and also you can notice the cursor is always in the center of the drawing file. So let's place it here. All right, now let me delete this once again. So let me go to link add again and then select zero one first floor. And then let's select auto center to center. Open it. Okay, so once it is done, you can select it and see it is already, uh, if it is not pinned, okay, let me check if it is pinned or not. So. The best way is you can select it and try to move it. So you see it is moving. All right, let me do it undo. What I would like to do is, before I start creating the model, I would like to fix this link. So select this to fix it, select it, and then go to modify option, and then you can make it pin. Now you can try and it will not move. Next, let me switch off this elevation point so we can type VG. Go to, let's go to annotation categories, elevation, and then let's switch it off. So this is how we can link our CAD file. Now, if you remember in my last video, I explained you the one advantage of using link CAD file is if I make any changes in the CAD drawing in AutoCAD to in this particular linked CAD drawing, that changes will be updated in the linked file also. And you can use this updation in while modeling in Revit. So let's see a demonstration here. So First of all, what I will do is let me save this project. So save as a project and let me save it as a link CAD. All right. Once done, now let me close this and then let's go to AutoCAD and open our 01 first floor drawing. And let's suppose here in this region, I would like to create uh, a model. So what I will do is let me create one wall here. All right. 
and then my second wall somewhere here. So once you update this CAD drawing, you can save it and then close. Now let's go to Revit model. Now I will open my LinkCAD project once again. So now if you open this project, you will notice that the, the updation which or the update which you have done in your CAD drawing in using the AutoCAD, it's already been updated in your linked file. So that this is one of the best advantage of having a file or extra file linked uh, in Revit. Now, another way, for example, let's suppose you, do, you are not closing the Revit file and then you open your extra file and then you make a update. So let's suppose, let's make some wall here. So let me make a copy. All right. And then you can save this file and then close it. Next, let's go to the Revit. Now you will notice that these updates have not been updated here. So these changes are not updated. So one way is you can close it and open it again. Now another way we have is you can simply go to manage. Then you can go to the manage project panel, select manage link. You can go to the cat format and then select 01 first floor. So this is our cat for uh, this is the cat file which we have loaded. And then you can click on reload it. So what happens? Let's see here. The moment you reload and then click OK, you see the changes have been updated in your link cat file. Thank you very much.